Hey everybody, this is Adam Ellis, and in today's lesson, we are going to do a radio edit. So it's been a while since I've done one of these, and if I'm being honest, I believe that there's a radio edit on the YouTube channel somewhere years ago, but it was done so long ago, I thought, hey, why not do, a, do an updated one? I've just signed a track with uh, my good friend Arctic Barbers to In Transfer Trust via Black Hole, and they're like, hey, Adam, we need a radio edit. Um, so just having a quick check now. Um, everyone's different, so if you're going to do a radio edit, check with the label how long they want it. And just speaking to Black Hole Recordings... Uh, this morning uh, and they want it to be around three minutes 30 so we're going to try and get this track down to about three minutes 30 now how are we, we going to do that um well let's find out generally what i try and do is not use any effects but if i need to use some effects i will but generally i'll just chop things up so first thing we want to do is chop the track at the start get rid of any silence which will often be on a master and then we want to get the bpm I think this one was 140, but if you don't get the BPM right, you're going to be in a world of trouble, really. So, yeah, that's bang on, and that's good, so that's fine. There's actually a bit more silence here at the start, so let's just move that over. See these little small details you've got to be careful of. And remember, as always, this is just my way of doing it. Okay, so we've got the track now. It's all lined up. Currently, it's a 7 minute th uh, 30 track. <laughs> the cat's trying to get through the uh, blind, so I don't know if the lighting's going to change. Um, honestly, trying to trying to do less with the cats is a nightmare. Um, anyway, so the track's 7 minute 30. We've got to knock off 3 minutes, so how are we going to do that? Now, this could take a while, or it could be really fast. Let's look at this section here. Straight away, that's a great place to start. It all lines up and times nicely because we we did we took that little bit of time at the start of the track just to make sure. Um, so let's have a look. I wonder if we could start here instead. Sometimes, like I said, I have to use effects like uh, delay or rises and things to kind of help it sweep over, but... In this case, it might just be as simple as doing just a little gain in. There's some low end in this section which I'm not enjoying. It's not very pleasant when I'm trying to fade it in. So I'm just going to get rid of that. There you go, so just a simple EQ will allow me to get rid of that there. We're also peaking on a master, just because it always does this, so I always just put a limiter on a master. Terrible, got a terrible um, habit of slouching down, I have to remind myself. But yeah, if you're ever doing this, I just put a limiter on the channel and the master, just in case um, you don't want to get any, any clipping or anything. <laughs> There's some percussion that's in the way and it's just doing my head in. Let's just see. Let's see what we're up to now. So we're still six minutes away. So we're miles away, miles away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move things slightly. Because of the way the intro ha has happened, things have kind of are out of place in terms of the bars. So it's just a bit confusing. So what I'm just going to do is put this to bar 33. This is starting a breakdown. And now everything's lined back up in bars. So I can work on a track. And when I'm done, I can just move it back. Don't think this is going to work. Make sure it lines up. Uh, 
that actually might work with a little riser. So let's just get a little riser in there. So just uh, uh, an effect. And to mask it, let's just uh, put a reverse symbol, something like that. That might work. I like to choose one that's already got a tail in it. Nah, it's not a... Uh... Wasn't loud enough. There you go. So that little, uh, that little, can't speak. That little symbol there is just kind of masked over the issue. So now we've got the track quite short because we've, we've cut out a lot of the intro, we've cut out some of the breakdown, we've been, we've been able to mask it over with a little transition uh, and now we, we're, we're able to play the full drop and we're still, we're only 2 minutes 40 in. So the next section, the next the next trick is ending, ending it, you know. Again, I'm just going to move this over so it's in line, so now I know everything's in line. Awesome, so that again lines up nicely. I'm gonna move that back now. There you go. So there's a million different ways of doing this. This is just my way of doing it, but I figured that we can end that there. And if we just have a little bit of a delay on the channel. I've always wondered how do other people do radio edits? Like, again, as I always say, this is just my way of doing it. There you go. And we're a little bit over, but I'm not going to worry too much. We'll, uh, we'll, have, we'll add a gain and gain that out. Coming in a bit, a bit tight there. Perfect. Pretty happy with that. We could even put that effect there as well. So it's just some little effects that help you masking things over. I've chopped everything up and I've used obviously some delay. And we've got ourselves pretty much a 3 minute 30 uh, uh, basically cut down version. We've still got the intro, we've still got the full breakdown, we've got a drop, and we've got a bit of a creative outro. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this short but hopefully useful tutorial on radio edits. And as you know, we've been trying to do videos weekly, but um, I, I always want to kind of, I like to have a rigid kind of stand. So it's like, hey, every Monday, but I think we're going to kind of get rid of that and just say, we're going to bring you videos as regularly as we, as we can. And um, a lot of work goes into videos. We have to set up a tutorial, make a plan, do the tutorial, 
edit it all, get it all up. There's a lot of work that goes into social media. So um, rather than just saying, hey, it's going to be every Monday, from now on, it's just gonna, I'm going to try and do one as much as I can. Uh, I'm still doing a, a lot of teaching, obviously. That's my full-time job. Uh, I'm designing the website. And yeah, just trying to keep this thing rolling. Um, we're going to announce a winner. As always, we like to give away a free tutorial. So um, drum roll, as always. And this one, I have to have, I have, to have, to have a quick look is Mez official. So Mez, if you want to message Chris, my manager, his name will be popping up on screen. Just message him that you've won a tutorial and he will send you a link to book a free lesson. Please make sure you, you do that. Uh, as always, guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, drop a creative comment. The reason I chose Mez's comment is because I was scrolling down and it popped out. It was quite an interesting comment. And I was like, hey, cool, that's the winner. And uh, yeah, if you want any information about my lessons, one-to-one -one tutorials, I, w I run a 12 one I run a 12-month development course we've had some great success with that clients signing to every major label out there uh, or if you've got any suggestions for any lessons or if you just want some help i always try and say i don't have an agenda i always try and help people um and you know if you want some help i'm not going to try and sell you something i'll, I'll always give you help for free and uh, do my best to give back to the community because i think that's really important we're in a day and age now where i don't know about you guys but in england um times are really tough and i don't feel that people should be um, penalized in terms of learning because of financial aspects so I'll, i will always try and give my time where possible obviously people that pay paying customers will be put in front of those people but if you if you guys have got any questions i can help you in any way um, navigate this uh, this journey this journey of being a producer a dj blah 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 then feel free to drop me a line but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one